<laughs> Hello everybody, this is Mike coming at you live from my kitchen table where I am prepping for next weekend's class, a neurofascial approach to jaw pain, wherein I try to present some useful tools for manual therapists in treating folks with pain in the jaw. Now, if you're a manual therapist and you've been in practice for any length of time, people have come to you with pain, tension, dysfunction in this area. It's often attended by similar pain and dysfunction in the upper neck and in the head. Most of these people will get better no matter what you do. So your main job is not to screw it up too badly, not to give them unhelpful belief systems as they heal. Some of these people will benefit greatly from your loving, careful touch in the neck, in the head, in the jaw, and many modalities will be helpful in that regard. A subset of these people will really be in dire straits. Their system will be in a feedback loop, and you can be instrumental in diffusing that sensitivity. So for that subset of people, I have a couple of thoughts for you when it comes to jaw pain. First of all, I would like to place at the center of your awareness the trigeminal system. Let's think of jaw pain as a sensitization of the trigeminal system. What do I mean by that? I mean the functional system of the trigeminal nerve and the anatomical course of the trigeminal nerve. So I'm talking about, here we have a skull, I'm talking about in the central nervous system a little ovular section of the brainstem called the trigeminocervical nucleus which takes inputs from the upper cervical spine and the trigeminal nerve and also regulates the sensitivity of that entire system. Secondly, I'm talking about the trigeminal ganglia themselves, this pair of thick ganglion ganglia sitting at the base of the sphenoid and projecting its major three nerve roots into the face and front of the head as well as a few secret nerves that I'm only telling you in this moment that project into the covering of the brain and the blood vessels that enter into the brain. So that's the trigeminal system. The second thing I would like to share with you is that this system responds to touch. So you can use your hands in intelligent ways to modulate the sensitivity of the trigeminal nerve, to modulate its access to local blood supply, and indeed to help somebody defuse that feedback loop of sensitivity, mechanical guarding, and all of the other stuff that attends the most common forms of jaw pain. Uh, it is worth our attention to discover not just that this trigeminal nerve drives a lot of the symptoms of jaw pain, but that its anatomical course can be contacted in many places, not just at the exterior, but by modulating the tension on the dural tissues and the actual emerging nerves, we can have a profound effect on the trigeminal system if we can navigate our way to it. And that's where a neurofascial approach comes in, uh, because we can find our way to some interesting spots if we understand the fascial architecture. So with jaw pain in particular, we're interested in the trigeminal three branch. This is the branch that travels from the trigeminal ganglion at the sphenoid, perforates inferiorly down through the floor of the sphenoid between the lateral and medial pterygoid muscles and in innervating the TMJ capsule itself and a lot of the, uh, the jaw, lower teeth, uh, muscles of mastication, etc. We can find our way not just to the exterior structures, uh, the skin and the muscles of mastication, but also we can get pretty darn close to that uh, major branch, trigeminal 3, by working intraorally. We will have very much improved effect if we can understand how the local fascial architecture interfaces with that nerve because the fascial architecture confers force onto the nerve. So if we can feel the architecture, we can grip that system and help it change its tension in one way or the other. So placed in the context of a loving session where you're not giving somebody dysfunctional belief systems or scaring them about their jaw mechanics, you're paying attention to the rest of the body, I think a neurofascial approach to jaw pain 
is a really useful tool in your arsenal, no matter what modality you might practice. Thank you for your time, and have fun treating people's jaws. Ha ha ha!